Welcome to ChartXGames.com latest newscast. If you enjoy today's video then please like, comment and subscribe. Today's news headlines. Epic Games to headline PC gaming show. Netflix gate crashes E3. Red Dead Online out of beta with great updates. In today's news. Epic Games to headline PC gaming show. It has been confirmed that Epic Games will be headlining this year's PC gaming show as part of E3. The developer and publisher of currently the world's biggest online game Fortnite has been given the headline slot at the show in Los Angeles this coming June. Not much is known about what Epic Games will be demonstrating or revealing, however I suspect Fortnite news and the next generation of the Unreal Engine may be on the agenda. Epic Games have confirmed however that there will be brand new material and Epic Games Store exclusive announcements. Epic Games Store announcements will be coming of course as the war between other online games platform Steam and the Epic Games Store heats up. In recent months, Epic Games Store appears to have been poaching titles from Steam as a bitter rivalry between the two platforms gets worse. Steam's new pay-for-promotion system and their large fees have currently been the focus of much discussion, as well as their aloof attitude toward potentially offensive games. The PC Game Show is the only PC-dedicated event at E3 and is one of the most watched shows of the event, having 4.7 million views last year. Other confirmed attendees of the event are Digital Extremes, the developer of Warframe. Perfect World Entertainment, developers of large online games such as Star Trek and Neverwinter. As well as Annapurna Entertainment, developers of multi-award winning What Remains of Edith Finch among many others. The PC gaming show is set as part of this year's E3 and will be available to watch live on Monday the 10th of June. Netflix gate crashes E3. In more E3 news, Netflix are reportedly scheduled to appear at this year's event. According to a series of tweets from Netflix's NX account, Netflix will be in attendance to discuss developing some of their best show titles into video game series. What exactly these shows will be remains a mystery at the moment, however a triple of video game series of Stranger Things for example would be nothing short of exceptional. Netflix seems to be getting into the video games arena as of late, with interactive TV shows such as Black Mirror, Bandersnatch and New Versus. The Wild, an interactive adventure with Bear Grylls. As good as developing some of their best shows into games sounds, what seems more interesting, and more likely, is developing games into Netflix shows. We already know that Netflix is producing a big-budget version of The Witcher, so who knows what they may do next. God of War, Legend of Zelda or even something like Gone Home could be brilliant if done properly. But until E3 comes around we will just have to keep guessing. Red Dead Online out of beta with great updates. Red Dead Online is now officially out of its long, player-tested beta stage and has added some great new content. Since launch in late November last year, Red Dead Online has been in a state of beta, being play-tested by millions the world over while Rockstar Games irons out the bugs and develops the framework. Six months later, the online version of Red Dead Redemption 2 appears to be fully released with the features and content expected of a full version. However, Red Dead Online hasn't been without its faults. Upon launch, the game was plagued by connection issues, an unbalanced economy, unfinished items and clothing, a sparsely populated world, a whole tirade of griefing and the annoying horse bonding bug. Thankfully, the game is now in a state of completion and most of the issues have been resolved while all of the features have been properly implemented and or improved. As of yesterday's latest patch, the game has added a ton of new features, many of which have been requested by fans since day one. The world just got a little bit bigger. New free roam missions have been added into the game, very similar to the main story mode of Red Dead Redemption 2. 
You can now do some work for Captain Thomas Skip in the bayou or get down and dirty at the infamous Aberdeen Pig Farm. The game now also has random dynamic events such as helping people in need or taking advantage of opportunities. These free roam missions and dynamic events were what the game was missing from the start, and at least now there are new things to do for solo players apart from hunting and fishing. On the multiplayer side of things, new events and challenges have been added. New co-op missions have been added for a land of opportunities storyline as you get to help Jessica Leclerc learn the truth about her husband's murder. The storyline provides opportunities for both types of players whether outlaw or gunslinger, affecting your honor in accordance with your actions. Other features include playing poker, a long requested feature, a new showdown mode called Overrun, plus items and clothing. The availability of some items and clothing changes on a weekly basis so be sure to check regularly. There have also been some tweaks to the hostility system and a multitude of game fixes including better payouts, faster weapon swaps and horse selections for different modes. See the official website for full details on the latest version. The updated Red Dead Online is available now for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. That's it for our gaming news today. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like rating and don't forget to comment. You could also hit subscribe if you want more news videos like this. Go to chartxgames.com for more gaming news, reviews, articles and updates.